The Shishuang Banadai Autonomous Prefecture is linked with the countries of Laos and Myanmar by mountains and rivers. It boasts the largest and most complete tropical rainforest in China. Linda and Wanda are two teenage girls who live in the rainforest. Their home appears to have melded with the trees, with its interior decor reflecting the wildness of the rainforest. The sisters paint plants and animals on the walls and have a collection of seeds and other tokens of nature that they have found in the woods. The girls inherited their love of the forest from their parents, German ecologists Dr. Josef Margraf and Li Mingguo, a native of Yunnan. Their home, built in the suburbs of the city of Jinghong, was once the site of a rubber plantation. It took the couple more than 10 years to make the hillside into a suitable place to live. We chose to live in Winlan because my husband majored in rainforest conservation. The things we talk about most from day to day always revolve around nature, ecology and the rainforest. Born in 1953, Dr. Margraf worked in rainforests around the world throughout his career. In 1997, he led a team of experts to the rainforests of Shishuang Bana. He met Li around the turn of the century and married her soon after. Finding that they had common aspirations, they purchased this plot of land, cut down rubber trees, and replaced them with trees and plants more suited to a rainforest. We thought that when we had children, we would want to live somewhere special. For us, this would have to be a tropical rainforest. Linda and Wanda were born in 2001 and 2003, respectively. Dr. Margraf and Lee named them after different kinds of orchids. I will be a gardener for our family and build a garden for my children on my own. I am eager to protect the rainforest. It's my dream to become an elf and let all the animals return to their home in the forest. Linda and Wanda run barefoot on the large expanse of lush green vegetation, climb up along the vines, and play with animals. They never feel afraid in the forest. Unlike other children who grow up in big cities and live in tall buildings, the sisters are spending their childhood exploring nature. They are used to listening to the sound of falling leaves, talking to birds, and examining flowers. After we had Linda and Wenda, our job took on a new meaning. Before they were born, Joseph did his work in an abstract way. He worked to protect rainforests around the world. But later we found that our work was for our children. Dr. Margraf and Lee have constructed a playhouse in a banyan tree for their daughters. Linda and Wanda enjoy swinging from the playhouse's swing and looking out into the distance. No matter how old they are, the thoughts in their mind, the pictures under their paints, and the things they talk about are all related to the rainforest. Trees, the sun, the moon, everything in and around nature. Dr. Margraf officially retired in 2004. However, his efforts to protect the environment never ceased. In 2007, he and Lee rented property that was previously used as a pasture and started working on a family project to restore the land and turn it into rainforest. The couple also established a civil biological diversity protection zone on Mount Bulang in Shishuang Bana to save rare and endangered animal species. Although still young, Linda and Wanda have worked with their parents and come to understand the importance of environmental protection. Linda once said that she didn't want to be separated from any part of the rainforest, even decaying flowers or a piece of fallen leaf. She said she wants to live with us in the forest for all time. Dr. Margraf died of a heart attack in 2010. His death was a crushing blow to the family. However, Lee and her daughters are continuing his preservation efforts. 
Wanda wrote in her diary that she used to be an elf in heaven. She came to Earth because she loved the rainforest so much, and she chose us to be her parents to protect it together. Linda and Wanda said they believe their father's work has been passed on to them. One of their projects involves collecting seeds and distributing them among nearby villagers. Wanda said that if every single person plants a seed, the rainforest can come back. In 2012, the girls were featured on China's Got Talent, the Chinese version of the British talent show. They sang a song to commemorate their father's life and promote public awareness regarding rainforest preservation. They have also published a book titled *The Rainforest Elves* that details their daily lives in the forest.